Hello everyone, my name is Sam. Welcome to this episode. Now today I got a Reaper's miniature. This guy is Nick Stone from the Chronoscope range. You can find them at ReaperMiniatures.com. They got a huge selection of miniatures, single miniatures, some of them have in packs. Now I'm going to be unboxing a couple of paints that I got from Reaper Miniatures. It's been a long time I have painted with those paints. So I'm going to give it another shot and I got this guy to show you how I painted him using the same range. So let's get to it. So this is the box that I got, and I'm very excited to, you know, I already opened it, and excited to show you the stuff that I got. So, some info over here and stuff. Nice little card. And then, on to the goods. I got this Reaper Virtual Expo, um, like, pass card. Really cool. I didn't get to see the, the thing, actually, but very nice. I like to keep this very, very, very cool. So I got the Reaper Virtual Expo 2021 paint set. I'm very excited to try these. Uh, it's been a long time I actually worked with Reaper paints and played around with it, but I like the colors that it has and I can't wait to actually put them on some miniatures. So I got a couple of miniatures. Get this out. Toss the box over here. So I basically bought uh, Nick Stone from Chronoscope. I like this miniature in specific. I always wanted to get it and I never did before. I always forgot to get one. The reason why is because he has kind of like this uh, bulky look, kind of like a cog from Gears of War kind of look. Then again, you know, um, obviously it's a different character. It's not really Gears of War, but he has that those aesthetics and I really like that guy also I got for free um, Rosie Johnson from Chrono the Chronotech she has a big monkey wrench and a uh, rifle and she has like a standing pose I got this one for free as well Romag Devil Devil Thief Romag I think it's silent so forgive me for my pronunciation yeah, he looks pretty cool. He has this cloak on and this hoodie, this face covering, the boots and everything. Looks really nice. I'm thinking of greens with this guy, like dark olive greens. I like olive greens on my miniatures. And this one probably suffered a little bit, but the miniature is still intact. I don't really care about the packaging being a little bit messed up. Iron Raven Templar Crusader. I got this guy to select as a choice for free. He looks really cool and I can't wait to paint this guy. Now, I do like to collect more science fiction minis than sci-fi, but I do like, um, in, well, not science fiction minis, not than sci-fi. Science fiction minis more than fantasy minis. There we go. So yeah, having these fantasy minis are actually a good refresher to my painting palette of usually painting rifles and grenades and all that kind of cool stuff. So, moving on from that. Put that aside. So, I like paints of all sorts of different brands and stuff, and Reaper is one of those paints that I actually started when I started painting miniatures a long time ago, back in 2009. And so I got the old Reaper Triads, I think it was, 2010. Um, I got my first Triads at the end of 2009 and started in 2010. So, can't wait to actually start with these. I like the case overall, it looks really cool and has their logo and everything on it very nice so now into the paints you have all the paints in there has some foam it comes in a nice little tray and everything i'm not sure if this is for carrying miniatures but if it is that's a pretty cool touch you can put some brushes in there if you want with their plastic covers put some miniatures in there and, you know they're not gonna go anywhere so i got the paints very nice. I like that it says Synth Flesh. If you know where you heard Synth before, probably in movies and stuff, but I know from a post-apocalyptic game that I've heard Synth before and it's it's actually really cool. I relate to this really much right now. I can't wait to use it. I got a couple of like cyber figurines laying around. Got Deflector Shield, Ion Suit, Gutter Grime, 
We already talked about Sim Flesh. Rock Rock Targi Rock Tarki Flesh. Okay, that was kind of hard pronunciation there. Carbon scoring. This this looks really good. I like this color. And we got brown wash. So I ordered a brown wash and they gave me another one for free. So thank you, Reaper. That's really nice. I appreciate that. You can never go wrong with extra washes. Radiation burn. I like the sound of that. Roddy soil. Very cool looking color. Mantis gray. Very nice as well. Heart suit blue. Pretty much thinking that this would be kind of like a highlight to this thing. This color over here. This one's a little bit darker than this one. And this hints more of a kind of like a teal green color. This one's kind of more like a, a blue gray. But I think it would be good for like an urban camouflage combination. And then we got Viceroy Crimson. Viceroy. Another another word that I've heard in sci-fi movies too. Viceroy Crimson. Very cool looking color. Nice, rich, kind of like a oak, mahogany brown. And then last but not least, Sky Smog. Very cool colors. I actually can't wait to use them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prime one of the miniatures and I'm pretty sure it's going to be a sci-fi one and I will play with the colors. So overall, this concludes my video. I will show a couple of pictures before it's done of the miniature, but just take a close look there. He doesn't look bad. I'm really happy with the results. I love the paint and the colors, how it ended, and it gave me what I was looking for with all the dirty look of the uniform and armor and making him look grimy like he's been in the forest for quite a few days or in jungles etc or in an urban area of the town there's a a park or something so my expectations for use in reaper paints after a few years i still like them they work they are fantastic they they work just fine there's nothing wrong with them in my opinion maybe your opinion varies that's okay but uh you know they work just fine i like the colors now keep in mind this set does not include any miniatures or any washes whatsoever so I got this separately with the miniature as well but with the case itself you get all these paints nothing wrong with that very good value on top of that you get a nice little kit to put more paints if you're starting in the hobby also this is a good way to go too and hey you already saw what it did you know so you can take my word for it they work I like them a lot and Reaper has definitely found another spot of my on my shelves of paints so they're they're getting up there somewhere there oh yeah they're going way up there 
but uh, yeah, uh, Reaper. Also, thank you for sending me an extra watch and the free miniatures. I really love that. You can't go wrong without that. But anyway, guys, if you really like this video, you know what to do. See you on the next one.